Hey there everyone, my name is Rabbit, the weather outside is indeed frightful, and welcome to episode number 69 of our 100% item guide and walkthrough for Legend of Lagaya. In our previous video, we finally made it to Dr. Usha's research lab, and after seeing some silly scenes with Noah and a few of the scientists, well, namely just one and a bath, I will say no more and spoil it for you if you didn't see it, uh, after talking with all all the various people who are also living here at the center with Usha, we finally found the infamous doctor himself, and we just wrapped up sharing with him all of the events that have led up to this point with the three of us. So let us continue. In turns, the three spoke. It was morning by the time they finished their tale. Oh ho ho ho, I am amazed, truly amazed. What a dreadful ordeal you have undergone for such a young age. Overcoming such adversity to bring peace to the world? How noble! You are indeed the heroes. I will do whatever I can to help you. My knowledge is at your disposal. Of course, destroying the floating castle should completely eliminate the mist from Caristo. But the floating castle can only be reached by air. To revive a genesis tree is key. There is a Genesis tree in Buma, but is it covered in ice? I think that's swapped. He's supposed to say it is covered in ice, and we actually saw that anyway. Uh, two episodes ago, I want to say, 67, we stopped by Buma, and we saw three Genesis trees, and they were all frozen solid. So that is no good, and that is of no use to us. It is impossible to revive it in that state. However, the ice can be melted. There's a Seru in Navor Ravine to the north that breathes cold air. Its name is Koru. Oh, and if you guys do remember, again, about two videos ago, we had a scene where the name Koru was dropped. So, hmm, let's continue and see what else we can find out about this beast. It was once a peaceful Seru, but the mist has made it savage. The only thing to do is to destroy that Seru. Wow, that's easy. Doctor, do it for us. Hurry. <laughs> I think she misunderstood. Noah, calm down. Koru has been storing heat in his body for many years and is extremely dangerous. Make a wrong move and kaboom! Koru will explode and destroy you all. With the time space bomb, we could trigger thermal reversal and destroy him neatly. But we have no fire droplets with which to fabricate a time space bomb. Fire droplets? I'll go get them. Doctor, where can we find fire droplets? In Urume, an ancient book describing how to build a time-space bomb says, He who would seek the fire droplets must first dream in the home of the Seru. The dream will summon Teague, who will bring the fire droplets. I don't know who Teague is, but I do know that the home of the Seru is Urume. And if you have a dream there, that Teague will bring the fire droplets. It could be easy or difficult, but this is the only way. My wife has the key to the door to Urume. You can get it from her. Von Gala, let's go to Urume. Urume, dreams, Teague, fire droplets, nothing but riddles. I know, and that is not what Gala is trying to hear. Let's see if he has anything else to say. My wife has the key. Nope, she's downstairs. When you get the fire droplets, return here. I will build you a time-space bomb at once. All right, well, you heard the man, my friends. We got a mission to do. But first, let us find his wife. We'll save outside. It's not imperative for us to do it here. Ah, there she is, waiting for us. It's almost like you were eavesdropping, Mrs. Usha. Oh, it looks like you're all going somewhere. I heard you talking to the doctor through that speaking tube over there. Ah, so you were eavesdropping. I guess I'd get a little bored cooped up in here for 10 years too. Now, I may be a worrywart, but I'm a little uneasy about this. Here are some questions to see if you properly understood everything. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll give you a ruins key as a prize. Hee <laughs> hee! First question, now where is the home of the Seru? Hopefully you guys should be able to answer all of these correctly, but if not, just follow along with me. So the answer to question number one, like seriously, I don't even know where they're getting the rest of these. Maybe number four could throw some people off, but obviously the answer is Urume. 
with an I. Pretty good. Okay, next question. What are you going to do in Urume? Okay, so let's just rule out the ones that are ridiculous. Fight Songi. Songi hasn't even been mentioned. Awaken the Genesis Tree. No, that specifically was noted for Buma. Overthrow the leader. No one even lives there. So dream dreams is the correct answer. Correct, she says. You are pretty smart. Third question. Let's get to the point. What are you going to get in Urume? And we know that we need... A fire droplet, actually he was saying plural, so fire droplets, because we need them to build the time space bomb. This is the home of Rasuru, but we're not finding one there, and I don't even know why they threw swimsuits for adults in there. I guess if you haven't been reading and you just spam to get through text, but then why are you playing an RPG? So the fire droplet is the correct answer. Almost there. Okay, last question. Once you have it, where do you take the fire droplet? Really? Really, lady? We know we need to bring it back here so your husband can make the time space bomb. Well done, you certainly are heroes and smart. You got every question right. Here's your prize. Honey, I don't know if I would call this a prize since we need it to actually save all of you. Savon now has the ruins key. It's my husband's collection. It may have some connection to Urume. Good luck. I know you'll be able to bring back the fire droplet. Indeed, indeed. So if, you know, for whatever reason you hadn't healed or eaten or whatever you want to say this lady does, I guess she does technically feed you, but make sure you talk to her to restore your HP and MP before you head on out. Might as well get the free heals. Can never have too many free heals. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, not quite yet. Looks like some beasts have a different idea for us. But, oh, actually, this is pretty nice because check out that fucking level two. Oh, my gosh. So beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. You know what I could also do? I could summon a bunch of Kimaros just so you guys can see. I think I showed you once, but we didn't get the immediate annihilation animation. God, Freed looks beautiful not quite frosty like the level one but i think he looks great all right we'll go ahead and summon it just so you guys can hopefully see sometimes their spells want to cooperate but then sometimes they act like little assholes so fingers crossed the spell is very eerie but it's one of my favorites i quite like kimaro all right, Kamaro, show them what you made of. I mean, I just feel like if you ran into this thing on the streets, would you not shit yourself? I feel like I would shit myself. All right, let's do it. And we shouldn't get into a second fight. It's not like, damn, it didn't do it again. But hey, whatever, we got a mana level increase or a magic level increase there. Let's see if Noah's can get the job done. Kamaru does a fuck ton of damage, by the way. I don't know if I really talked to you guys about it when we first ended up absorbing these for our party, but I would recommend if you were going to sort of put all your eggs in one offensive Seru basket, that's obviously not one of the raw Seru talismans because those are obviously going to be stronger than generic Seru that you just encounter on the battlefield but anyway oh maybe no really why are we not getting the annihilation animation well we'll see if galas can get it and then we'll just leave it as it is but anyway as i was starting to say if you were going to put all of your eggs into one generic seru basket Kamaru is a great one for dishing out very strong damage at a low level. I mean, you saw Vaughn's at level 1 did like 2,000 damage to the level 2 free. That's pretty fucking good. And, you know, I'm a little biased in that I like Kamaru, but he's very powerful, which is why recruiting him early is also nice. Kind of like the Vigoros, but we went through that conversation already. But, alas, I did not, and we did survive, so clearly you won't die if you waited until I did to get him. But the earlier you get Kamaro, the earlier you can really level him up, and 
he deals a swift hand of justice, let me say that much. So first order of business, we are going to head westward to Urume. And it's not too far, but we'll probably get in at least one fight before we get there. But that's okay. We're just bringing our party closer and closer to the next levels. And uh, I kind of don't want to spirit. Let's see if we can just get rid of them. Probably not. Our AP is up, but our bar is not expanded, so it kind of is what it is. Groot will definitely go down, but we should have at least one B remaining. All right. You snooze, you lose, Groot. And then these queen bees. You are nothing. All right, as I predicted. Last man standing. I'm not even going to. Spirit, let's just auto our way through this. Really? You fucking bee. You drive me crazy. But maybe Vaughn might be able to steal something. We'll see. Vaughn, this might be a little bit of overkill. That fucking bee dodged the attack like an asshole. Wow. That's a little obnoxious, but whatever. Vaughn should be close to hitting. I think level 29 is what he's on the cusp of. Before we hit Urume, let's quickly take a peeky peek. Just so I know what we're working with. Oh yeah, Vaughn will be there fairly soon. While we have the opportunity, let's try to get some levels on our spoon. And there it is. The eerie, but necessary to visit, Uru May. We've heard mention of Uru May in the past as well. So the name shouldn't be completely unfamiliar to you guys. Vaughn, Gala, this must be the place. This must be Urume. Those strange structures in the distance must be Urume, the ancient ruins, Dr. Usha said. But Vaughn, have you noticed something unusual? So you can say there's no mist here, there are no Seru monsters, or Noah is full of energy. Obviously the last one is not unusual, so I don't know, whatever you want to choose is up to you. I'm just going to say... There's no mist here. That's right. There's no Genesis tree to be seen, yet the mist doesn't flow in here. Those ruins must have the power to hold off the mist. Von Gala, there's no one here. Where could Teak be? Von, do you remember what Dr. Usha said? Of course I do. Very good, Von. Well, let's go dream like Dr. Usha told us to do. Then we'll see if Teague will actually give us the fire droplet. Von Gala, there's some weird house here. Let's go inside. Noah, wait. Don't go inside by yourself. What are we going to do with that kid? Gala, you gotta lighten up. There are worse things than her running into a house that's completely open anyway. Ooh, Kara. Kara, why are you stalking us? Anyway, the game practically gives this treasure chest to you. And if you run up and open it up, you will grab a healing berry. So that's pretty nice. There's nothing really left to be found unless you want to read the book here on the desk. So let's opt to go ahead and do it just for funsies. So the cover reads, Guidelines for Seru Trapping. Seru come out at midnight. A trapper must therefore patrol Urume only at sunrise. Urume is off limits from sunset to sunrise because that is when the whispers are frequent. A trapper must never wear a captured Seru. All Seru should be sent to Seoul as soon as they are caught. The whispers are the voices of a demon. Trapper never listen to the whispers, even in daytime. A trapper must never touch the three doors on the side of Urume. So Vaughn finished reading the book and put it back. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so we're here at the structures and we heard mention of doors? Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Looks like we've just got back, 
black slots on the side, so maybe we should investigate up here? Let's give it a go. So, this is Urume. These are strange ruins indeed. I don't see any place where we could use the ruins key from Mrs. Usha. What? Noah, what's the matter? I hear something. I hear something. It's a voice. I hear a voice. A voice? Vaughn, Noah, I hear it too. I hear words inside my head. You was key ruins who has door dreams will be ope gather at dream door open oh so look friends the little black slots that we just quickly poked our heads around now are highlighted with the colors of our respective rasaru Ooh, and the doors have been open for us Whose voice is that? Von Gala, did you see that light? I saw a light down there. Whoever it is seems to have opened the door because we have the ruins key. Von, let's go inside. This must mean that this door leads to the fire droplet. All right, let's go inside. And go inside we shall, but that will be in our upcoming episode. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. As always, I am your host, Rabbit. This is our 100% item guide and walkthrough for Legend of Ligaya, and I'll see you very, very soon.